Rising temperatures is a concern for anybody out there, right? But especially for an elderly couple in Roswell who live without a working air conditioner for more than a month. I can't believe that situation. Yeah. They say they called maintenance multiple times, but the problem wasn't being fixed. That's until our Paula Soro set out to get answers. Christina DeLeon is not packing for a vacation getaway but for a chance to get away from her 84 degree apartment that has no AC. It's too hot in here to stay. The 73 year old and her 84 year old husband who are both disabled and cannot drive say it's been over a month of no air conditioning and no help. We can't even go to the store to get some relief during the day to get a little bit of cool air. You know, so we're stuck here. That's until her daughter, Vernalisa Ruggi, who just found out about this, picked her up as temperatures continue to rise. It is a nightmare, and it's going to kill my parents. DeLeon says she's called maintenance several times about this and other issues. And there's some of the water damage that I've been having to look at for over six months now. But she says they tell her they are short-staffed, so she's been relying on a few fans and open windows. There's hardly screens on the windows. So when they open, more bugs come in. More raids. I have to be my own exterminator here. 11 Alive spoke to Grace Apartment Homes Management in person today, and an hour later, maintenance workers came to start fixing the problem. Late this afternoon, Ruji let us know the AC is working again. We're on Social Security, so we don't have much money. And so we're paying a lot of money, most of what we have, just to be in this apartment. The Atlanta Legal Aid tells 11 Alive that tenants have an obligation to pay rent, but the landlord has to maintain and repair the apartment. Under the circumstances of the heat wave, we're having considered a priority to get that repair because that obviously is a health hazard. Senior attorney Maggie Kinnear urges tenants to document all communication and says these are steps you can take if management does not do the repairs. DeLeon, who has a heart condition, is now back home but says a lot of damage has already been done. I'm having a hard time breathing and now I'm going to have to have some a bunch of tests done on my heart again. In Roswell, Paula Cerro, 11 Alive News. Certainly glad they got that resolved. They are working to address those issues.